Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. In the last video, we did trio raids with my duo teammate Spookdog and our good buddy Puff. We were teaching Spookdog how to do chambers and then also trying to get the prayer scrolls for Puff's UIM. And Spookdog ended up not only getting her first purple last video from chambers, but the first mega rare for the team. Between raids when the others are busy, I've just been doing Slayer and I've gotten back three back grotesque guardians tasks because the perk of the Slayer cape is you can get a back to back task and that's happened multiple times now. I'm still currently on this grotesque guardians task though, so we're going to finish this up. I still have quite a few more to go. And then, hey, there's still a chance I could get the back four back task. So with that, let's jump back into doing Slayer with the Grotesque Guardians and have some fun. That is Granite Ring number three. Wow, there's another Granite Ring. That's crazy. I'm just like completely unenthused at these drops. Whoa, that looks like it's the freaking Baba attack, the way those were lined up. There is the end of the Grotesque Guardian Slayer task. I think I got the three Granite Rings from this task. But trust me, I'm definitely not taking those for granite. Anyway, speaking of dad jokes, here's a word from today's sponsor. Father's Day is coming up and I have the perfect gift for you to get your dad or someone else that you care about, which is Manscaped. Manscaped is the global men's grooming brand that's here to take care of your hygiene from head to toe. Manscaped just sent me their newest product, the Beard Hedger Trimmer, which features a 7200 RPM motor and titanium coated T-blade to cut through extremely thick hair in a single stroke. The trimmer features a built-in rotary wheel, which can be adjusted for 20 different hair lengths and it's also cordless and waterproof so it can be used in the shower which makes for a very easy cleanup. Manscaped has many more products and for a gift I'd recommend the Performance Package 4.0. This includes the Lawnmower 4.0 which is for the other kind of shaving, the Weed Whacker nose and ear hair trimmer, the Crop Reviver and Crop Preserver which is ball toner and ball deodorant, and they'll throw in a couple extra free gifts which are anti-shaving boxer briefs and their Shed travel bag. Manscaped has plenty of other products too including shampoo and conditioner, body wash, deodorant, really whatever you need to take care of your hygiene, Manscaped has. So go treat someone you care about or treat yourself by going to manscaped.com or using my link in the description with code MUDKIP20 for 20% off your order and free international shipping. And your balls will thank you. Thank you so much to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Let's see, will I finally be free from the Grotesque Guardians locked group Iron Man or will I get the back four back? I'm now free. I can finally play the game. I want to start using Konar for Slayer. In the past, I've really only ever used Konar for every 50th task or for going for Hydras because Konar is the only Slayer Master that assigns Hydras. So typically when people use Konar, it's because they're camping for a Hydra task. But I have a different reason why I want to use this Slayer Master, and that is because of the Brimstone Keys. What's a Brimstone Key? Well, thank you for asking. A Brimstone Key is what you get from a task that you're assigned from Konar. Every single monster that Konar assigns has a chance to drop it, and the drop rate is dependent on the monster. Typically, the easier the monster, the worse the drop rate's gonna be. And these keys are used to open the Brimstone chests, which have a lot of nice, I guess, mid-game Iron Man loot, but the reason why I wanna go for it is for the uniques, specifically the Dusk Mystic set. Each piece of Dusk Mystic is one in 1k, and there's five pieces, and they're all on the collection log. And the Broken Dragon Hosta too, but... Uh, you're basically guaranteed to finish this before you finish a Dusk Mystic set. Another perk of using Konar is that you get more points per Slayer task. So you can see this column is for uh, just any task. This is points you get for your 10th task, 50th, uh, and so on. So you can see for Konar, for every Slayer task, it is 18 or 20 if you have the Elite Karen Diary done, which I do have done. Versus with Duradel, I was just getting 15 for each task. And then you can see for higher streaks, you get a lot more points than Duradel too, which is why I've always used Konar for every 50th task. There is one caveat to using Konar though, is that the tasks that she assigns, you're assigned a specific area that you have to do them in. I figure this will be a nice change of pace from all the regular Slayer I've been doing. So let's see what we're gonna get. Karask's in Ironwort. See, it's just like the most random things to do, but it's actually really good because I still have to get a Karask head for the collection log. And before I get started, I just want to see how many brimstone keys I already have in the bank. I don't even know if I've opened the brimstone chest. Okay, I've definitely opened it because I have a lot of Hydra KC, so I've opened it in the past before. I currently have two brimstone keys and 
I feel like it'd be cool to do a massive opening one day, maybe get a hundred or 500 or maybe even a thousand keys one day if I have enough self-control to not open them. Another thing about Konar is that you're not able to do as much bossing overall because say for example, I get a Dagnoth task, not only would I have to roll Dagnoths, but I would also have to roll the Waterbirth Island location in order to be able to fight DKs. And I think just in general, there's less boss tasks, I think. Like, I don't think she assigns Jad, for example. So I think in general, when using Konar, you kind of just do a lot of these AFK Slayer mobs. Fun fact about Kurasks, you know, normally you can only hit them with the Leaf Bladed stuff. You can still use the SGS spec, but it's not gonna damage them. But you'll see when I use it, watch my hit points. My hit points and stuff will get restored even though it hits zero. So from this Konar task, I ended up getting three Brimstone Keys, which is kind of lucky. I think I should expect to get an average, maybe one or two Brimstone Keys per Konar task. Oh my God. There's no way. I guess I'm I'm back into being locked at Grotesque Guardians. How? How, did, how does she know? My Slayer XP I gained today was 257K, which is like almost 10 hours of doing mostly grotesque guardians. What a good day. Wow, another ring. Wait, that's another granite ring. Why do I keep getting rings? Number six. I'm gonna have one ring for each finger before I know it. And rings for other parts of the body too. Hey, there is tor black tourmaline core number three. That is going into the bank value. Bank. If you have one item from OSRS IRL, what would it be? Probably Monkfish. And there's the end of the Grotesque Guardians, but will I get the back-to-back -back task? Stay tuned. The moment of truth. Okay, it's not back-to-back, -back, but this will be task number 700. And that is 700 Slayer tasks done. I got 500 Slayer points from that, up to 4,300 points in total Abyssal Demon. Yeah, so this is what I meant where I can't always do the boss task variations because with the Abyssal Demons, I have to kill them in the Catacombs of Karen. The really cool thing about doing Konar Slayer is that it makes you go to places for Slayer tasks that you might not have been for many years. Like, for example, this spot for the jellies. Like, nowadays, I would just do them in the Catacombs, or I don't even get jellies as Slayer tasks, but if I did get them, I would do them in the Catacombs, but... This is making me relive my 2009 days of playing RuneScape and also my 2013 days of playing old school RuneScape. I forgot how much GP you get from doing Slayer. Like I did this whole Night Reels task in one trip and I made over 730k. For an update on the cash stack because I don't think I've specifically pointed it out for a while. Ooh, will this put me at 20 mil? <gasps> yeah, 20 mil cash stack. Think of all the bank space I could buy with that. Hopefully at least 40. I got assigned blood belts in the Meyer Ditch Laboratories, which I've never been to before, and I feel like there might be a lot of people that also don't know about this spot, so I figured I'd show it to you. It's kind of like the same way you go to the True Blood Altar, it's Fairy Ring Code DLS, but you diverge a bit at the end. The thing that makes these mutated blood belts so good is that they're in multi-combat, and unlike the catacombs, you can use a cannon on them. This seems to always be a controversial take, but I don't use a cannon for Slayer on Iron Man, which is because it's faster to just do your Slayer task than spend time making cannonballs. For every hour you spend on the process of collecting resources to make into steel bars and then smelt those into cannonballs, you're not gonna be saving an hour of doing your Slayer task. I'm just gonna make up a number here, but you're probably spending, say, one hour on the steel bar and cannonball making process to save, let's say, 20 minutes on your Slayer task. And yes, you do get a bit of smithing XP, but I'd argue that XP is negligible due to how much XP per hour the normal smithing training methods are. In conclusion, cannonballs are inefficient to make, and if you're not playing efficiently, then you're playing the game wrong. I'm just kidding. I mean, if you, if, like, if you truly have nothing else to AFK, or just want something that you can set up to AFK on the fly, then by all means, go for it. Do what you enjoy. Who spooked off. Oh, she got it. Yay. She got 99 hit points. Her second 99. You know what the best part is, though, about this? Uh, if we, well, it won't refresh until she logs out. Oh, she's telegraphing the cape. Uh, her total is now 2066. And the total level of Link's Ocarina is 2065. So that's how you know now that she is truly a beast at the game. I suspect now that she got her 99 agility out of the way that some of these other 99s might be coming in a lot faster. Especially because she's been training Slayer and you know how fast the combats go when you're training Slayer. Here is a virtual defense level of 105. I'm actually so mad. I went to go get food and I was just AFKing here. I come back up and I lost a Brimstone Key. <laughs> 
Oh, I'm so sad. I must have just missed it too. For my Slayer task, I got Dust Devils in the Catacombs, and my guy is absolutely kitted out. Since we got the Kodai recently, that just makes this amazing. No water runes required, saving 15% of the runes I use. Oh, I should bring the Dins here, because the Dins can aggro all of them. Maybe bringing Dins with Light Bear would be uh, pretty nice. First ever time casting a spell with the Kodai. Whew. Oh, looks like Spook Dog is doing some construction right now. My god, dude, this was insane. Look at my XP per hour. I'm getting over 60k Slayer XP per hour, a frick ton of magic and defense XP, four Brimstone keys from the task, and this is the end of it. 310. Oh, also, because uh, I am using the Bone Crusher, which buries the bones in the catacombs, when you bury bones, you get your prayer back, and I did not have to drink a single dose of prayer pot. I just got Ankus as my next task, and I've never barraged them before. I never thought about this, but as in my mage gear, I'm like, I suppose there is nothing stopping me from barraging them, huh? It should work pretty well, and in fact, it does work amazingly well. Oh, wow, there's an Abyssal Whip. Cool. This is such an iconic place to get them at. That's awesome. I, I literally just turn the stream on and within two minutes, <laughs> I get a whip drop. That's just how it works. I don't know why I'm up here. I guess I could be killing them downstairs. I forgot. I'm just used to Conar Slayer putting you in weird spots. Yeah, it's Halloween somewhere in the world because it's like upside down in Australia, so... Like, for example, in Australia, because they're upside down, they celebrate their 4th of July in the winter, whereas we celebrate it in the summer. Time to show you another Slayer area that you might not have known about. This one is Dust Devils in the Smoke Dungeon. The place is west of Pawn of Niche, and you could also right-click the well to turn off the smoke effects inside the dungeon, but I'm blind, so I didn't see that well anyways. There's a task-only Dust Devils area, which was added in July of 2021, and it's multi-combat, so if you're ever struggling to find a world in the catacombs for your Dust Devil Slayer task, just know that there's an option here too. I believe... Oop. I whip spec, that's fine. <laughs> oh, I got Hydras! Okay, I knew this would happen eventually, if I was going to be doing Conar Slayer. I have not been there since shortly after getting the Lance, because I just stopped doing Conar Slayer after that. Here's what I have. I just need the pet in the jar at about 1300 KC. You're supposed to be on the Lunar Spellbook, so you can use Spellbook Swap for Thralls, and Spellbook Swap to Archaea Spellbook for the Offering Spells, and Spellbook to the, Swap to the regular Spellbook for Alks, but I am not going to do that because I am lazy. All right, let's see if I can still do the Flame Skip first try here. Easy. I'm going to spend a thousand Slayer points to unlock task storage, which will allow me to pay 50 points to store a task because I am streaming right now and I am doing a terrible job at streaming and killing Hydra at the same time. So I'm going to spend 50 points and store this for a rainy day and grab a new task in the meantime. Yeah, even after doing that, I still have 3,600 points. I'm not desperate for points. It's a good unlock on the completionist account. So if we turn on the detached camera plugin, we can then go beneath the bottom of the chasm of fire and find out that this is in fact wait, the chasm of fire. It was in a spook dog video, which I'm sure all of you saw that. Well, we got a hard clue. Wow. Another hard casket. Oh, it's, is that new? No, it's not new collection log. Okay. Uh, one more casket. Oh, two new collection log slots. Sweet. Ancient pay, or ancient blessing is new. Oh, ancient blessing for next. Yeah. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, I equipped it. Yeah, it'll be good for next. That's, that's actually pretty good. Unless I use a crossbow, in which case it's not good. Oh, interesting. My Slayer Cape just procced and I got the back-to-back -back task. I just had Karasks and Fremnik. But when you get the back-to-back -back from Konar, it doesn't necessarily have to be in the same place because this time it's an Ireworth. Whoa, so I'm editing through the clips right now as I'm just doing Slayer, and that last clue that I did where I got the Ancient Page 4 
and the Ancient Blessing, those were the exact two items that I needed to complete the Shared Treasure Trail rewards for the collection log. So this thing is now green. Yo, check this out, 102 Hunter getting ready for my evil chicken outfit someday. When I get the clue step for the Yanel Agility Dungeon, what I do is I teleport to the Yanel House Portal, and I think a lot of people just take this underground shortcut but there's another shortcut right here that doesn't require as much time as crawling under. I think a lot of people don't know about that. So I went back to doing trio chambers with Spook Dog and Puff. I really want to see Puff get the prayer scrolls for his UYM, and I feel like him not having them is kind of holding him back from a lot of content in the game. Although he says he's not like super rushed for it and that he's just happy to be here raiding and having fun. And it's also been fun showing Spook the basics of chambers. At this point, she doesn't really die anymore, and we can at least just make it through the raids fine. I think she's at a really good starting point for understanding the fundamentals, and I hope we can build that up even more for her over time so maybe she can take on more roles and maybe maybe someday get confident enough to the point where we can duo together. Because duoing is a bit more difficult and complicated than trioing and kind of takes a lot more understanding of how chambers works, but yeah, someday hopefully we can work our way to that point. By the way, before we started raiding today, Puff said that he just had to die to his spory real quick, and then a minute later he informed me that he accidentally had his Hunlet pet out. Smiley face. Oh, come on. Why <laughs> you, you gotta be like that? <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Why are you laughing at my suffering? Because it's funny. It's not funny. Yes, it is. What? <laughs> Nine rain type of guy go me, 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 me when he sleeps. <laughs> Oh, wait. Other side, other side. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hurry, hurry, hurry. No. Oh. 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 Live. Okay. Live, damn you. I saved you five hit points, though. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Although the burn kind of negated the <laughs> hit points you saved, but... Oh, I got, I got the combat achievement for Grandmaster Chambers oh. of Zerith. It scared me. 150 <laughs> KC. Nice. Right after the last raid of the night, we came out here. There was a shooting star. I just mined almost 700 Stardust. That timing was just so nice. Spook Dog just got that clue step that requires the completed God Book, I think, for an elite clue, which he doesn't have. Uh, but that just reminded me yesterday how I had finished uh the shared treasure trail collection log so i'm gonna just give her pages to finish a book or maybe even finish multiple books but that just reminded me i should go and complete all my god books yeah i'm gonna give her all these god pages i don't get why you guys wonder why i struggle with bank space i mean as you can see i keep only the most important items in the bank so i've got like some zamrat completed and it's these four others i have to finish oh this is about to be very satisfying putting all these pages in the books there's one book completed and another one and another one and the armor one and that is the god book set complete just to double check we can go to rewards and now they're all complete on the completionist group iron man account and you can claim these back for free anytime you have to pay that original 5k cost per book but once you pay that once you never have to pay that again you just keep on claiming them back and if you do a lot of willy stuff you can claim multiple of the books you don't even have to do the drop trick for this you just keep on claiming them and that way you die in the wildy and you just take it right back out your bank. New PB. Hey, PB. Hell yeah. No purple. All right, guys, don't forget to call your pets inside. I won't. Okay. Nine rain type of dude say hip hip hooray. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Huge PB for the purple. The light is white yet again. That's the PB at least. Yo, know, the back-to-back -back PB, sub-25, no way. Oh, uh, no another white light. Thanks for the raids. Thank you very much for the raids. We're crushing personal bests. That, yeah, that, <laughs> and copium. Oh, the baguette, please. No, 
It's been a lot of fun raiding with the homies, even though we have gone dry as a team. Uh, here's the raid data tracker plugin. You can see my personal points now are up to 11.4 million. And then as a team, either as duos with me and Puff or trios with Spook as well. This is kind of inaccurate because there's also raids that I did a year ago. So this isn't completely accurate, but Puff also told me in his raid data tracker because he's only been raiding with uh, me and Spook. Well, he did one other raid, but besides that, uh, it's been about 3 million points. So this isn't too off either. 3 million points between the three of us, and we have seen one purple, which was Spook Dog getting the code eye. So we should have seen almost four purples at this point. That's okay, because we're having fun. And as for the number of brimstone keys I've collected throughout this video, is it 42 or is it two? You'll have no idea because I'm not going to hover over it, so you'll have to just take a guess for yourself. And then I've also been doing Castle Wars in the background, and I just hit 600 tickets. I'm now three quarters of the way to the goal of 800, and once I get 800, we're going to get a lot more collection lock slots unlocked and it's gonna be a nice very fun rush um, but with that said make sure to check out my duo teammate spook dogs channel to check out her half of the progress linked in every video description and i'll also link one puff wonders uim series in this description as well i've got something new and exciting planned for the next video which i'm very much looking forward to thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i hope that you have a great day and i will see you again next time